Every mechanical piece that moves, whether it's on a firearm, a watch, a vehicle, it doesn't matter, it starts to need maintenance, repair, and eventually replacement parts. Parts break down over time, just like changing the oil and rotating the tires on your car at 5,000 miles. We need to be mindful that changing gas rings on our bolt at 5,000 rounds should be at least anticipated. Now, in a sterile environment, maintenance on your firearm can be very easy and we can use tools inside of a shop in order to get our gun clean, functioning, and ready to roll again. But how you do that outside when you're hiking, biking, camping, whatever the case may be, can be a little bit more tricky because we need it to fit inside of a pouch or some small container just like this Magpul DACA. So we're gonna get into the details of how I use a small kit that I assembled myself years ago in order to clean my firearms. Before we get into that though, we have to thank the sponsors of this channel. Americana Pipe Dream Apparel has done an amazing job since the first day of supporting and sponsoring us. If you're looking for surplus equipment or gear, go check them out. There's a link in the description where you can save some money. And then secondly, if you are looking for cleaning accessories, just like what we're gonna show in this video, shooting surplus carries a lot of parts just like this. And again, look at the uh, description You'll find an email link where you can hit that link and start saving money on items that they do happen to have on sale. Now, without further ado, this is my take on a personally built on the road rifle cleaning kit. So whether you are out on a three day hike on the flat range, or you just wanna actually have the ability to clean and maintenance your rifle, while you're out doing stuff, you're gonna need a cleaning kit of some degree. So let's get into what that means for me. So I have built out this kit in a small DACA pouch and it has simplified the tools that I need to actually clean and maintenance my rifle. So what do I have in here? For starters, I have lube. Lube in a Ziploc bag, it's very simple. You don't need a ton of it, but having some on hand goes a long way. Now, I also have a boar snake, and a lot of people still use patches and rods. The problem is that you're gonna have to have patches on hand, and if you're trying to source those from somewhere else to actually clean out your barrel, you're gonna need to go find the correct size or cutting pieces of cloth the correct size to actually wipe down your barrel. And I don't wanna have to do that. This is very simple. It's just a little bit of rope that is sized for a 5.56 gun. If you have a 300 blackout or a 308, you'll obviously need to get one of those. I also have a BCM SOP mod replacement kit. So I have an extractor, an ejector, some springs, a rubber O-ring, and some gas rings, as well as an extra bolt. Some people may say, you need a whole new firing pin, you need, uh, you need a carrier, you need a gas key. To me, a good bolt, this one's a Daniel Defense, and a replacement kit will get me a long way. I've personally never broken a firing pin or a carrier or the gas key. As long as those are all good components, you should be all right. So those stay in my kit. I do have in excess some Q-tips. Having the ability to clean out some of those small little hard to reach spots like inside of your chamber, inside of your gas key and your carrier, it's good to have those as well, although they do wear out over time gloves. These are not used every time that I'm digging into my, my gun and trying to maintenance stuff, but keeping carbon off of your hands is going to keep you healthier. So having these in medical scenarios or gun cleaning scenarios is wise. Now, if I am trying to do a little bit more of a in-depth cleaning uh, kit, if I'm trying to actually go further into detail on cleaning the gun, I do have a chamber brush. If I'm going to have a chamber brush, I'm also going to need the ability to swipe out the chamber. So here's what I have for that. This is a rod that you can get from ProShot and it locks both here so I can actually lock down the rod and it keeps it from rotating. And then I can add another rod and add on my chamber brush and I can swipe out the carbon. So some people get a little bit concerned about, rightfully so, the amount of carbon buildup in your chamber. As, those, as that material and all the carbon and gas and crud, pieces of brass, pieces of lead start to build up 
you are increasing chamber pressures and you can reach a point where it becomes unsafe. So every once in a while, about every thousand rounds at a minimum, cleaning out your chamber is both a safety and maintenance concern. So that's good to have. Now the other thing that this can double as is adding extra rods, having the ability to punch out pieces of brass or debris in your barrel. I've seen people put 545 rounds into their mags, they get chambered and stuck. I've seen brass over swell and lock up your gun. And the only way to get that out is to actually run this rod down your barrel and punch out the debris, whatever it is that's going on. So the fact that this can break down, I don't have to have a 16 inch piece of steel or aluminum or brass, but I can assemble this and punch out a problem is a huge benefit. And then of course I have some brushes, two different types. I have nylon and copper and I can scrub away a lot of debris. I can uh, knock off a bunch of carbon, whatever the buildup is, I can clean off a lot of stuff. This is going to start to over time take off some of the anodized or the Cerakote, whatever the finish is on your gun. So you need to be a little bit careful with this. The nylon is gonna be a lot more forgiving. But there's one more crucial part to keeping maintenance on your gun itself, and that is a multi-tool. So multi-tools, yeah, they can be used to actually clear out issues that arise in your gun. So let's say that you have a piece of brass, like a stove pipe that is stuck in your upper and you're not able to clear it without a tool. Having this is a huge benefit. Additionally, let's say that something on my gun, like the turrets or uh, a component to my light gets stuck or stripped out. I have a quarter inch bit set that I can drop onto the end of this multi-tool. And in conjunction with that, I of course have bits. And I've actually mixed and matched different bit sizes to work on everything here on my gun. So everything from my scope rings, to my light, to my laser, Everything on here has the ability to be removed or tightened back down with my multi-tool and my bit set. I could build out one of these and put it in my cleaning kit, or I could build out a couple of these and put one in a chest rig, one on a plate carrier, with the rifle that goes with the specific kit. So however you wanna set that up for yourself, awesome. For me, I like having one multi-tool per piece of kit. To each their own, but I love having the ability to clean out my gun, maintenance it, replace parts, swap new batteries, which the batteries live on the gun itself. They stay in either the stock or the grip. And then also the further stuff like changing out gas rings and extractors if need be.